Hey everyone, welcome to a new video, welcome to my channel. My name is Maika. Today I am bringing you inside of my wardrobe as much as I can um, because I'm going to be doing a little bit of reorganization in my wardrobe for the springtime. So I redid this wardrobe last summer um, and I sort of gave it a good rejig, which I filmed for you so I can link it in the eye above in case you're interested. And I, I made a bit of a boo-boo because I <laughs> sort of mixed all of my tops along this top rail. And now I feel like I really like blouses and why are not all of my blouses and like fancier tops all together on one rail. So I need to take everything that's a t-shirt and sort of like more casual over on this side out. <laughs> and so I can move everything that's here, which are blouses, and I can move those to the other rail. So that's step one. I just finished doing lots and lots of spring cleaning, which is why I'm looking perhaps a little bit gross, a little bit tired, a little bit grubby, but I spent the entire week deep cleaning my entire house and this is the last bit. So I also got my vacuum cleaner in here. Where did it go? I've got some like dusting cloths and all that. So we're gonna give this whole thing also a clean, especially once we get in the back, cause I'm pretty sure there's a bit of dust that's accumulated over there. And what you're seeing right here is a unit that I usually hang my blazers in. And it's an Ikea unit. Actually, everything in my wardrobe is Ikea, the system. Uh, and this is a Yonux cell um, like organizer. And it comes, I'm not sure you can see, but it comes with drawers. And I expanded the drawer sets. So th these come in four drawer sets or six drawer sets. So I have one for the six drawers with a rail that hangs my blazers, which works lovely, but I felt I was not having enough space. And when I planned this wardrobe, it had always been my plan to stack two of the six um, ones on top, but at the time they were out of the six. <laughs> so I only got the one that I could get <laughs> and I wanted to upgrade now. So I'm going to also put so I've got two of these empty wire baskets that I'm going to be filling up with stuff that's currently hanging up as well. I already did a bit of a declutter as we're going along. So what I actually want to start off with doing is go through this to make sure that everything that's in here is stuff I desperately, I do really want to get rid of because I'm going to be seeing my sister-in-law in a week's time and then I will be giving these things to her. Um, that I, I ended up putting things in here simply because I didn't have any hangers and because all the shops were closed I didn't have any new hangers but now I now the shops have reopened we can sort of plan a meeting with the store and that's how we can shop I just did it the other day for the first time it was stressful because you only get like what 20 minutes in most stores anywho um, but I thought I could go through this again because getting rid of something just because you don't have enough hangers I mean I mean, this is still moving just fine. I still have the space. So um, I don't have to get rid of all of these things, I'm sure. So I'm going to go through this bag first. And then if I come across anything that I missed <laughs> when I was looking for other things to get rid of, uh, because I definitely didn't go through any of my dresses down here and also my skirts I haven't really had a look at. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. So I'm going to give this a clean, a rejig. And if I don't forget, <laughs> then uh, as we're sort of like speeding through things, I do want to talk to you guys about some stuff as well. So I'm going to show you some items that I already own that are super spring appropriate, that are like very trendy for spring. So I had a look at some like spring trends that are going around and thought, do I already own those things? So I've got my phone here because I put some notes on it. So there are a few items that I know I want to show you. I just hope I don't forget. <laughs> so that's this video today. Oh, wow, that was an intro. But yeah, most of this is going to be me speeding you through and I'm going to you makeup list because I don't want to get makeup all over these clothes. Here we go. Let me go through this bag first. <laughs> So the bag has been finalized. There is mainly knitwear in here that I haven't worn and that I want to pass on to her. I also found like a, a white t-shirt 
where I'm like, I wear my other Rolling Stones t-shirt so much more than I do this one. So that's why I'm going to get rid of that. And then there's just like some cardigans and some sweaters in here, which is why it's so bulky. And I've decided that I do want to keep these things. So we've got this stripy crop top, which is just, it's such a good staple. And then this, because I, w I was like, why am I getting rid of this? It's not really my colors. Um, that's why I think I sort of, but it's this really nice satiny blouse. And satiny blouses are all the rage at the moment. Like every web shop stocks them. So I can't get rid of this because this is perfect for right now. And I've got a pair of skinny jeans that still fit me really well, but I'm not really into skinny jeans. And I may have bought some pairs of jeans the past couple of months. So I no longer had space for this, but yeah, I want to try and see if I can still keep these somehow because they are, I'm not sure if you can see, but they are this like grayish blue, like almost black, but not quite. And then they are very gray tone blue. So these are really good. So it's a wash I really like in the fall winter season. So I'm going to keep these three things. All right. So let's go through things one by one. So we've got colorful sweaters right here at the top and uh, like striped sweaters and the sweater I was wearing today but it was very very toasty lives there too um, but I'll put it back on later today then I've got like my jewel tones over here which you can't see jewel tones over here and then I've got my light cream and light gray knits over here and the one there is a knit in the wash where I'm like should I get rid of that or not but I wore it again the other day and I ended up loving it. I am going to get rid of my other navy sweater though, because it was just, hmm, it's good, but it's gotten a little lumpy looking. It's just a bit old. I think I've had it for, for like five years or so, and I kind of wore it because I was like, oh, I haven't worn that sweater yet, but I didn't naturally reach for it. So I think I'm good with this selection here. I need to refold stuff, but I will do that when I put my laundry away tomorrow when it's dry. Um, we've got like darker colors here and then we've got my pastels and that I wanted to discuss with you because I have some pastel sweaters namely this one this is from monkey let me come closer so you can see with the lighting Ooh, maybe like this <laughs> so that's what the sweater looks like it's got a high neck I actually have a video up where I do style this up so if I don't forget, I can link that in the description box down below. And by the way, I did also do a lot of like picture blog posts where I sort of like have a couple of outfits that I liked and then I would put them up on my blog. Because of COVID, I haven't been doing that much. But yeah, this is a monkey sweater. It's this really lovely pistachio shade. Without makeup, it doesn't look the best on me. I definitely need to wear makeup to make this color work because it kind of drains me. And this is just a really nice baggy sweater that I love to wear with a pair of black culottes. All right, and this is actually an outfit one that I wanna show you, and this is ticking two boxes, because not only do we have pastels, uh, I wore this in a video the other day, so you may have seen me wearing this. It's a really nice cotton knit from H&M that I've had for years, and is a really stunning lilac color. And this is just a lovely sp sweater for spring because of the cotton, it's not too thick. And what I love wearing this with is a pair of trousers that I got from Zara. And they are these, they, these are wild. <laughs> these are really wild. These are gingham print trousers. And then they have the ruffle going down the leg. It makes for a stellar outfit. Again, I believe I did also already wear this on my channel. So if I can find the video or the blog post where I'm wearing this, I'll make sure to link it down below. I've got another outfit for you, and this is color blocking. Um, so these are all parts of the wardrobe that I'm not reorganizing, but I have these Zara trousers, uh, which are bright, bright red. And what I like to wear this with is a pink blouse. <laughs> I know, it's a bit Moermite, uh, but this is an H&M blouse, and this lovely number I thought was really stellar. Again, I think I have this I'm wearing this outfit in a blog post as well, which I can link down below. Found something to declutter, you guys. Who remembers these? <laughs> my lilac pair of trousers that I styled up in my video where I was styling up five items two ways that I found difficult to wear. And I, I've actually found a pair of lilac jeans, kind of like mom jeans fit kind of trousers from H&M. 
and they are the replacement for this, so that's why I'm not going to keep these. So remember I told you that I wore the, uh, would wear the uh, green sweater with the culottes? These are the culottes I'm talking about. They are H&M, and they're from their petite range. H&M has a petite range that they hid from everybody, but I checked the other day in the app, and they are now finally having a tab where it just says petite. So, pro tip. I'm sort of just showing you these out, out, uh, outfits first. So, another trend for the season is wide leg trousers. And they come, like, pretty long. But I have this pair of cropped mustard trousers from Everlane that I love. I tend to wear them more in the fall time, though. And I like to wear it with this cream knit over here that has a bit of a navy speckle running through. But yeah, these are really, really lovely. They're very sturdy and they just have a really nice wide leg. And now I think what I'll do is to take out all of like the t-shirty kind of things and just put them somewhere in the room behind you so I can move, start moving blouses around. I think that will be helpful, so let me do that. All right, not sure if you can see, but all of this is now empty. We've got a lot of dust down here. We've got a lot of empty space here. So let's see if we can put these blouses in. But another thing I wanted to show you, remember that I said set-in tops were all the rage? I bought this from a vintage kilo sale last year, two years ago. It's such a great one. Look at that color. It's this really, really joyful cobalt blue color. It's immense extra large. It's humongous on me, but I love it for the color and because of that really nice shiny texture, which is why I actually... What you'll see a spring haul soon, like start of April, like first two weeks of April, I ha I'll have a spring haul for you. And I just didn't really feel I needed any of those satiny blouses that you see everywhere, because I already own this one. I found something to declutter, you guys. This top from Zara I have never worn. It's this really nice lacy see-through blouse, but it is this like really weird like semi-stretchy material. It does have this really stunning shoulder detail, like do you see that? It's really really pretty, but I'm just not wearing it because I'm so scared to snag the fabric. And I actually have a sleeveless top like this that I would be more inclined to wear because it's sleeveless. And it's not as if I don't have any other lace blouses, because that's the section we're looking at right now. There you go, another satiny blouse. That's the third one. I found two things to talk about with you, and it's this floral blouse. I'm going to let you guys vote. It's this chiffon material. It's from H&M, so it wasn't super expensive. I really, really like this dusty rose floral pattern, and I have no other floral blouse like it. It has ruffly sleeves, a ruffly collar, and then it has this tie in the back. It's really pretty. I'm just not sure if I see myself wearing this, this, if it's really me. I think it's very pretty. I'm going to put it back in my wardrobe for now and I'm going to let you guys decide. What do you think? Should I keep this? Yay or nay? So we'll get to what's going on in the back of the wardrobe down there, which is skirts. But I keep one pair of really jazzy pants here. And it's this polka dot pair of 
tulle, well mesh trousers that I got last year. These look like a skirt when you wear it because they kind of like join, but they are, as you can see, hi, uh, they are legs. And monochrome mixing print color blocking is all the rage at the moment. I thought what we could wear pair this with is this really stunning bird print. Like, do you just see that that could work? It's a pajama style pr uh, top and I love this. I bought it years ago. I wore this the day I got the keys to this house. I've got space left. Yay! I've got space left for more blouses. Like, there's a good, like, if I push it all the way back, I've got like 20 centimeters left and it can still like move a plenty. <gasps> Yay! So I've decided to take all of my knit vests. Hi, this one you haven't seen yet, but this is from H&M. It's this really cute, creamy colored one. So I now have one, two, three, four, five of these. So I think I'll put those with the, with the bl blouses because I think, in my mind, these all go with blouses more so than with t-shirts. All right, so let me tell you a little bit about how I've got this organized now. So I've got all of my solid colored short sleeve blouses first, then the printed ones. So that's something I like to do is to uh, separate prints from solids. Um, I do put textures with the solids though. So if it's something like lacy or broderie anglaise, then I do like to put that with like plain white because there's no other colors. Uh, and as you can see, I'm not sure if you can see very well, but I just, I love a good print. I love a bit of color. And then I sort of go by sleeve length as well. So I do short sleeved solids long sleeve solids together, short sleeve prints, short sleeved um, uh, long sleeve prints, and then within those categories I go from white to black and I color code it. Let me uh, move some uh, shorts down. I've got some shorts and I put all of these shorts in the back of my wardrobe um, on hangers because that's how they used to live in my wardrobe. However, these hangers, I'm not sure if you can see, but they have these little points and they kind of stick into my knitwear up there and I'm not too happy with that. So this is why I got one of those extra wire baskets for the unit that you're sort of like glancing at the entire time. So I can put these shor uh, shorts into one of those wire rim ba baskets. That was the plan. And now we need to put some things back in. Um, these are just all long sleeve tops and I barely have any solid colors because they're almost all printed. <laughs> so that's why I don't do the separation between solids and prints. Let's go do t-shirts where I do have that distinction. I completely miscalculated how many blouses I owned when I set up this wardrobe the first time. That's definitely clear. This guy. I sort of saw this again and I was like, it's time. We've had a lot of fun. I wear this in the summertime a lot. I mean, wee! I'm not sure if you can see my face through it, but it's a see-through top. I'm a bit over it. So that can go. And now we're gonna go through the dresses. I haven't had a look yet at what dresses I would like to declutter, um, but this has no more space. So I know a few things need to go. I say that and I find something I'm like, I can't wear that anymore. 
I currently wear work at the Ministry of Defense, and I'm a civilian, so I'm employed as a civilian, so I'm not allowed to wear camouflage print, I'm sure. I'm sadly going to say goodbye to this. I have a little bit of room to play with in the dress section. Hurrah. I think I got rid of four or five things, like two jumpsuits, one long one, one short one, and three dresses. So not that much. But I got rid of something. I definitely need to go through skirts next. And what I want to do with my skirts, like the shorts, I want to try and see if I can use one of my new wire bins in this unit over here to store as many of my skirts as possible. And I have found another item, florals, of course, for spring, but mixing prints, yellow is another thing that I see a lot. And I have this yellow t-shirt. Okay, it's very washed out like this. You can see a bit better. And then I really like pairing these two together for spring. And it's one, of, it's a vintage skirt, by the way. The t-shirt is H&M. So I've got all of my skirts out from the back because they're sort of living in the back. And I think what I at least want to do is something like this. That's a mini length to put that with the shorts. That's definitely what I want to do. So those I'm going to separate from the long things. I don't want to get rid of any skirts, you guys. It's terrible. <laughs> So that works a lot better too right now. I can actually move this a little bit again so that I can actually see what I'm doing. So we have empty wire rim basket number one and number two. So here I think I want to put my Everlane uh, jeans. So this, and I have like corduroy as well, um, which is really big and bulky. And this fits really well. So moving on to this, I hope I will be able to put shorts here and skirts here. Let's see how that goes.
that was a bit of a fail. Um, but the, these, I have space for these in my jeans drawer. I just, I, I bought other jeans and that's why these don't really fit anymore. But I'm going to put skirts in here, which is actually the original plan. But as I was going through things, because I started over on that side, I was like, I'm going to try that first. But sadly, that won't fit. Now we just have short, like mini skirts and short shorts in here. I like it. So this is a trouser bin number one, which is living behind me. Um, I don't want to get rid of any of these. These are my printed pants. And some of these go with suits that I have, or they're just fun. <laughs> so I've got all of my like pied de pool, herringbone, Tartan. And then this is summertime stuff. Oh, I can get rid of this. <laughs> this is a pair of pants that it, I, I can rehem it. I can. It's just, it's also way too long. It is really lovely for the wide trouser leg length uh, sort of trend uh, because it is lovely, but I don't, I don't love the floral print. And I would wear this in the summertime, but I'm not inclined to be wearing black like black base pants in the summertime. So those can go. And I still have these, and I like these a lot better, and these are easier to wear. I've got quite a few black pairs of pants. <laughs> but yeah, I, I just took out my faux leather pair of leggings, not because I'm not wearing them, but I think that these should go in here because I only wear them with very specific things. Like I've got a couple of like knit, like sweater knit dresses and an oversized blouse that I like to wear those with. But I don't, like I would reach for my faux leather pants now that I have a good pair. So, so this is the problem bin. <laughs> Cause this is where my, my corduroy was before I took it out. So I've got skinny jeans, flares, and wide leg. So this is everything that's not a straight leg. And then we have this monstrosity to go, and that's just, like these are all very rigid denim, and then when I go and put it in, because these bins are tapered, they kind of need to fit like this. <laughs> and without like taking the bin actually out, it's not that easy to put back, <laughs> especially not all the way in the back, like this black pair. Look at that. Doesn't that look lovely? Welcome to the top of my wardrobe. Yay. Let's put some blazers in. <laughs> and the tartan one. Like I've got, well, this is a herringbone one, so it doesn't really count, but one, two, three, four, five, six checkered blazers. And I've got one coming from you for you as well in my spring haul because I got another one. <laughs> I'm just going to collect all the checkered blazers. But I wanted to mention another spring trend because that's the boyfriend blazer and I bought this paisley print number vintage last summer and I think it's great. It's very oversized though so I haven't really worn it and it's in this brown which I have no brown in my wardrobe save for this. <laughs> 
So it's, it's a bit difficult to style, but I know that I can make it work with a mustard yellow t-shirt underneath it. And if I can see the sleeve, then it counts. So now I'm going to move this guy and then I'm going to round up the video for you. That's it. We, we, we've got some lumpy piles of sweaters in here. We've got more up here. We've got all of this here and then we've got a new unit that we can move around so that when I do anything, want to find anything in here, that I can. Yeah, that's it. This is the end of the video. My little spring wardrobe reorganization. I really hope you enjoyed it, that it wasn't too rambly and crazy and all over the place. I won't know until we edit this, <laughs> and I'm not even sure whether I'm in focus or not, but uh, yeah, that, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Um, we will be back with some new videos very soon because I make three videos a week. Sometimes I do fashion just a few times in the month, um, but mostly I focus on makeup over here, as many of you know, I'm very well aware. But yeah, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day wherever you're at, and then I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye!